Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel and if it's the first time you're passing by, you can put the thumbs up. Oh, isn't that typical? As soon as I start a video, the doorbell goes. Anyway, um, yes, talking about Haiti and um, when you're, you know, when you think about Haiti, you think of a little country, little island in the middle of nowhere. It, it's been beaten up left, right and centre. It's been occupied by the Americans three times. It's what um, is the place where Trump actually called a shithole. So you wonder why now you've got the Russian tanks in there and you've got American planes um, landing there. And what is going on? We have been told that there's a fuel shortage. And yes, we know there's a fuel shortage and the fuel prices have been going up. But what we didn't know, or what I didn't know, was that in that little place called Haiti, they have over 10 million gallons of diesel and gasoline. 800,000 gallons of kerosene. And what seems to have happened is that um, an ex-police officer, they call him Barbecue, um, he is adamant that the diesel is not, well, the oil is not leaving the country. So can you imagine how other countries are going to covet what Haiti has? Because that's what it looks like. You know, they're not going to be interested. We haven't heard about Haiti for ages. All we heard about was, you know, they've been subject to floods and goodness knows what else we hear about. All the bad things about Haiti. But not that it's got gold and iridium and bauxite and oil. That part, we don't hear about that part. And now, apparently, well, it's not even apparently, I'm going to put the links in the description. It's being invaded. And you know the sad thing about this is that the innocent get caught up with the guilty. So many fatherless children when the, when that island is occupied. But and it's by foreigners and it's it happens in anywhere, anywhere where there's a, a place occupied, there's always innocent bystanders who get caught in the fray who are hurt D diseases are left behind apparently this is what the locals are saying the locals are saying they don't want it occupied because last time it was occupied they brought uh, the americans brought with them diseases they said they brought with them um, they exploited all their resources you know they they destroyed their national production and they're saying, we don't want you here, even if we're struggling, even if, you know, we're being prevented from accessing fuel because, uh, you know, the barbecue is not allowing it to leave the country. We prefer that than to have an invasion. We'll suffer. And the thing is, is that Russia apparently is helping out, apparently by delivering fuel. So it's, 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 yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. You know, you kind of think of, you know, you've got this war with Russia going on and Ukraine and you hear about all the nuclear bombs and all everything that's going on there. And then you kind of think, little Haiti, what, what have they, how can those people fight against tankers? You know, what have they got? that they can fight such an establishment, because it is an establishment, really. When you think about tankers coming in, what chance have they got? Anyway, um, I'm, I'm not really going to carry this out. This is just really to raise an awareness. Two out of three ports in Haiti have fuel, fuel being unloaded, so fuel is being given to um to the country or to the island 
um, hospitals are kind of having to cut back on their critical services. Apparently, gro grocery stores and banks are working to a limited schedule. Um, but the locals are saying they don't want American intervention or occupation. They're saying that America has occupied Haiti three times and have left it in devastation. Fatherless children, diseases, exploited their resources, gold, iridium, oil and bauxite. And they say that they've destroyed their national production. So, as we know, um, like I said, innocent people are going to be caught in the fray, so we have to keep Haiti in our prayers. And, um, yeah, that's all I can really say about that. Bye-bye.